Hi, I'm Stephen Birch with Trilogy Visual Media, and today we have the Black Magic Video Assist. And what I wanted to do in this video is just kind of give it a once over, uh, press all the buttons, go through the menu settings, see how this thing works. So here we go. The one thing I've noticed right away is out of all the features of this thing, you know, you have great mounting areas, you have your SDIs, your, your HDMI ports. I have this HDMI actually plugged up into the close up, which you'll see. The power button, though, is kind of hidden. Uh, it's flat, I understand, maybe for safety or protection, but it's this little rubberized button um, that, you know, it, it's already taken me a couple tries sometimes to, to find. And did I press it? Did I not press it? You can hear a little click. But anyway, so far, it's one observation. Um, right away, uh, it's, it's a great display. Um, I will uh, run through each of them here. So there's some things you, you can control, some things you can't control depending on the camera, et cetera. So uh, you have a general button here, which will take you to your zebra, your peak, oops, sorry, your zebra, peak, guidelines, and grid. Go ahead and turn all those on. So we have uh, peak medium. Let's turn zebra up to 90. Um, turn a grid on to uh, uh, 2, 3, and 2, 4. And then uh, turn the grid on here. So you get your crosshairs, and it can help with, uh, with lining everything up. We'll go ahead and turn all these off. And pretty easy control. The, the, you can see I'm, I'm not working too hard to get this to work, but the, you know it's it's touchy. It probably takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, you cannot control the resolution that's controlled by the camera as well as frame rate, but you can control the codec that you record to on the SD card in the video assist. Um, and th there's also trigger external trigger for recording and then your source, whether it's going to take your HDMI or your SDI source. Uh, by default, it's grayed out if yeah, there's nothing plugged into the SDI. Um, you can also press this again here, um, get to the same functions by, by pressing on these areas up here. So that's kind of nice. Uh, they, they group them together, and they also give you two ways to access them. Um, one thing here is you have your card. Uh, there's a couple ways to get to this one as well. You can hit the card um, or you can just swipe on here and you got your storage, your display, and your setup. Um, I'll go ahead and run through a format. I have a 32 gig card in here right now. I'm just going to hit the format button. It asks you to confirm format to XFAT or you have the option of HFS Plus. I'm going to go ahead and just select that one. Once again, it wants you to, to confirm. And it formats pretty, pretty quickly. Um, see how long it'll take here. Last time it took, I'd say, about 45 seconds to a whole minute. So I'll cut it short if that's the case. And there we go. So that's formatting the card. Obviously, you can name the card. Um, and it gives you compa capacity information, which is nice. Um, display, you have brightness, contrast, and saturation controls of the screen itself. It's kind of nice. If I find sometimes if I'm in a, um, a sunny area or a place where I want to boost the color to see what kind of trouble I might get out of certain things later, I'll crank up the saturation. But for the most part, I'll leave everything in the middle. <coughs> Set up here, you can name your device, obviously date and time information, and choose between the languages. The one thing I did not see is how many languages does this come with? And I'm not seeing an option here. So it's very possible that as it ships uh, with this firmware that you only get English. For the most part, um, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, I have no real big complaints outside of maybe the power button. Uh, let's get back to the, the main screen here. One other cool thing that I like is the battery. So I have one battery in here right now, but it clearly tells you uh, which one is running out, which one needs to be changed. That's really nice. And you also have your zoom um, for, that helps with uh, pulling focus, etc. cetera. Now, one other menu is the headphones. You can turn the headphones up and down there. 
And that's about it. That's the whole thing. I, there's a part of me that kind of wishes that we could get a bigger wave if we wanted it, a uh, waveform meter. Um, uh, but outside of that, there, there it's recording, stop, playback. Um, I do like that you, it has really good playback controls if you want to forward through or forward back. Um, we have the Blackmagic Production 4K cameras and uh, playing back videos is, you know, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not the best, uh, the best controls, uh, but this has really, really good controls, so they got it right there. And that concludes the menu overview for the Blackmagic Video Assist. Really, really like it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And I'm Stephen Birch with Trilogy Visual Media. Take care.